I'm Deborah Borchardt, and this is your Marijuana Money Minute. On Tuesday, the FDA issued a warning about Delta 8 THC, noting that the product hasn't been evaluated or approved by the agency. Now, the FDA's opinion on anything related to cannabis is met with a healthy dose of skepticism because the agency hasn't been able to wrap its head around CBD whatsoever. Still though, the FDA noted that there have been 22 hospitalizations from Delta-8 side effects and the Poison Control Center reported over 600 cases. In a sign of how difficult it is to be a CBD company today, this week Plus Products filed for the Canadian version of bankruptcy. They have secured court protection from their creditors under the CCAA. Plus Products also canceled their general meeting that was scheduled for September 14th. Jushi Holdings has closed its previously announced acquisition of Massachusetts-based Nature's Remedy in a deal valued at $91.2 million. Jushi also said they revised the terms in such that they will issue 4.3 million less shares for the new deal. Fire and Flower announced that revenue for the fiscal second quarter rose 51% to $43.3 million over last year's $28.6 million. Fire and Flower delivered a net income of $19 million versus last year's net loss of $29 million. High Tide reported that its revenue increased 99% to $48 million for its third fiscal quarter versus $24 million for the same time period last year. In acquisitions this week, Acreage Holdings said it was selling its four Oregon dispensaries to Chalice Brands. The deal is valued at $6.5 million. Those dispensaries are known as Cannabis, and the sale will end Acreage's position in the state. Now, the company said in a statement that those Oregon stores were negatively affecting their bottom line, and Chalice is saying it thinks it's the company to turn them around. WM Technology, better known as Weed Maps, is buying Sprout, a cloud-based CRM and marketing platform for the cannabis industry. They didn't say how much they were spending on that deal. And Akerna is buying 365 Cannabis, a cannabis business management software system built on Microsoft's 365 Business Central in a $17 million deal. And this has been your business update from the Green Market Report. I'm Deborah Bortart, and that is Marijuana Minute.